All right, guys, we're going to do something a little different today. Uh, Tom McDonald just dropped a video, and I've covered him before. I love his music. I normally watch him when I first come out, um, but I don't normally react to him. He has hinted that this is going to be controversial, so we're going to break it down. We're going to talk about it. Just a little bit of fun today. I get sick of talking about politics, and yeah, yeah, the world's going to shit. So let's just sit back, relax, and for once... For today, we can sit around and just talk about Tom McDonald because everything else is trash. It really is. So this will be the video for the day and I hope you enjoy it. Let's break it down and let's see what he's talking about. The country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows. Politics, celebrity, gossip, popular, neat quotes. Black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. But if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole pride month. The most dangerous pandemic's propaganda from these clowns. Only mass that's gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. Don't speak. We don't need to defund police, need to defund the media who lies through their teeth like Big Pharma doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. And big oil runs the world. The only wars that get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. Heard him claiming if a white man yeah. braids his hair and likes rap, he's appropriating culture. But if a white man acts too white, he's white trash, he's a racist, he's a bigot, he's a monster. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They can't stop us, because we're ready to fight, trying to brainwash us. But we won't let freedom die, the whole world's brainwashed. Did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep Claim they want what's best for us, I find it hard to believe Cause they've been selling us cigarettes since we was 18 Fake news, fake woke, distract and divide You're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white Big tech don't need a microchip to hack in your life Cause the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device and Oh I don't know what I shit He went there I'm a sick of rappers or Joe Biden. We'll, we'll break it down at the end, guys. We're just listening to it. Biden looking like he ate 100 Xanax for dinner. Cause censoring the president and kicking him off Twitter is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign ballistic missiles. You don't trust the police or the government, but you want people giving up their right to own a firearm. Why would you be comfortable if police and the government the only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun? White privilege getting amplified to reinforce division. It convinces white people that they're favored by their skin, and black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different. So the conflict is between us and never with the system. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They oh, fuck, that's right. Oh. <coughs> He's right on the money on this. Can't stop us, cause we're ready to fight, trying to brainwash us, but we won't let freedom die, the whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets, the whole world's brainwashed. It's us against them, it ain't you against me. Step one. Train the people only to consume. Step two, infiltrate adults with the news. Step three, indoctrinate the children through the schools and the music and the apps on the phones that they use. Step four, separate the right from the left. Step five, separate the white from the black. Step six, separate the rich from the poor. Use religion and equality to separate them more. Step seven, fabricate a problem made a lie. Step eight, put it on the news every night. Step nine, when people start to fight and divide, take control. This is called situational design. They can't stop us Cause we're ready to fight Trying to brainwash us But we won't let freedom die The whole world's brainwashed Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets The whole world's brainwashed It's us against them, it ain't you against me All right. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. 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 All right. Okay. Interesting. Um, 
I, I'm not gonna break down the lyrics. Uh, Knox Hill, he does that um, when he's obviously talking about the rap and stuff like that. Um, I'll throw a link in the description below. Go check out Knox or Crypt. As for the politics of this, um, wow. Okay, so <coughs> let's break it down and let's do it bit by bit. The country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows. Politics, celebrity, gossip, popular, neat quotes. Black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. But if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole pride month. The most. Right, so totally agree with him. At the end of the day, when he's talking about the, the fact that everybody's asleep, but they're all claiming that they're woke. The TV shows, uh, not, I would say not even TV shows, but social media. Like, for example, uh, Snapchat went through and put a new feature, or not new feature, but a feature in their phone, in their Snapchat program or app, where you can go through and it's it's like a it's like a sub train, right? Where you and your friend can like keep sending messages back to each four to each other. And you have like a certain time to respond. And it's like a game to not let the the, the the timer run run out. And the girls at work were talking about this, and, and I turned around and I said, to me, that sounds like they're trying to encourage people to use Snapchat more. Seems like they, they want you to stay on Snapchat. And the girls were like... And it's sort of like you could see that light bulb moment. I'm like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, you, you didn't realise this? That at the end of the day, that this is this is not beneficial to you that this is this is literally them making sure that you keep using their app and that you use it more over more than ever and they sort of they got it in the end but it's sort of like i had to point it out to them so i would say it's not even tv i would say it's like apps social media to say if i could like click my fingers and dan off social media i think we'd all be very very better off um but at the end of the day, he's right. You know, at the end of the day, we, we are brainwashed. We are we are sitting there. We're being distracted by TV shows. You know, like we've been distracted by, you know, The Bachelorette and, you know, and MasterChef and, and, you know, and all these sort of reality TV programs, right? People sit down and they watch the, the big screen idiot box and that they sit there and they watch it for hours on end and, you know, binge their favorite TV shows and stuff. And don't get me wrong, it's great to do that every now and then. But when you start getting people like my mother will sit there and my mum will watch three hours of news a night. The the brainwashing that my parents suffer. And I've tried to wake them up on this. I've tried to slap them, like not figuratively, but metaphorically slap them to the fact that, that this is brainwashing you. And, you know, they're starting to get it now. But I've always said that my parents will most likely get the fact that the media lies when their son is in the headlines. And it's probably going to take that before my parents will realise what's actually going on. But he's right. And, and not only that, but he's also right about the whole, you know, if you're Caitlyn Jenner or you're gay or you're trans, you get a whole month. Yet we send soldiers off to, to fight and to defend our country, defend our freedoms, and we give them a day. You know, but you can virtual signal on Twitter about Pride Month for like two months now. Like there's two different months as far as I know. But for the people that go and defend this country and defend your right to sit on Twitter and to talk about Pride Month and all this sort of stuff, we give them a day. But can we start a petition to have like a Veterans Month? How, do you, how well do you think that would go down? Let's get going. Dangerous pandemics, propaganda from these clowns. Only mass that's gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. Don't speak. We don't need to defund police, need to defund the media who lies through their teeth like Big Pharma doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer lost and big or <coughs> Holy Dolly. Um he's right about Big Pharma. Um there is a berry up in North Queensland that is rumored to cure cancer. And when the government found out that people were driving up to North Queensland to take the berry, which is completely harmless, they banned it. At the hest of Big Pharma. Now, you can't go up to North Queensland and pick this berry because you receive like a $150,000 fine, something ridiculous. 
Why? It's a national natural growing fruit. Same as New Zealand, I think, has one too. It's a natural growing fruit. Why are we not allowed to pick a certain natural fruit? Because it cures cancer, reportedly. You know, at the end of the day, you, you look at uh, you look at like my my family had a, a friend who went through and he was having uh, he was having heart problems, so they gave him heart medication. But the heart medication caused problems with his kidneys, uh, liver. Sorry, they, so they gave him medication for his liver. So he's then on liver medication and heart medication, but that boxed his kidneys. So then they had to give him medication for his kidneys as well as his liver as well as his heart. He died from heart, liver, and kidney failure all at the same time. Now he's a very close friend, and I don't want to use family tragedy as a as a as a point, but yeah, that's pharma for you. People wonder why I don't like taking Panadols or or Nurofen or any of these sort of headache medication or anything like that. More people OD on Panadol than any other drug. Yeah, pharma's not your friend, guys. And people that take Xanax and, you know, all these sort of sleeping pills and all this sort of stuff, you're poisoning yourself. You really, really are. Oil runs the world, the only wars to get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. Heard him. So, to agree, I would agree with that to a certain point, yes. Um, but at the end of the day, I think it's a lot more than that. I don't think it's just about oil. Um, it seems to me that we're also invading countries throughout the world that are independent or they have their own banking system um, for example with uh, obviously the Federal Reserve Bank which by the way is not a federal bank look it up it's actually privately owned but at the end of the day the Federal Reserve Bank uh, all the countries that we've invaded in the past 10 to 20 years were all banking systems that were not part of the federalized system they were all independent banks and by the way, since those countries have fell, they've now all been brought into the federal system. Which makes the federal bank very, very happy because they have more clients now. Seems like it's more about uh, what banking system countries use. And then, of course, we have the infamous example of this is Gaddafi in Libya, who wanted to go through and actually, and we're talking about this to my flatmate earlier today, wanted to go through and actually sell oil using gold currency as a trade. So, for example, you buy a barrel of oil, it might be worth 10 gold. Now, the problem with this is that gold is a limited currency. Money, the American dollar, well, the American dollars, they can sit there and they can print as many as those likes. Those printers just go burr all night long, and the U.S. can print as much as they want. But gold is a limited currency. And as soon as Gaddafi wanted to bring in gold instead of the U.S. back dollar for the petrodollar... He was dragged out in the middle of the street and sodomized with a knife from his own guys. Look it up. That's what uh, that's what happened to Libya. That's why Libya is in such a bad state right now. Gaddafi was a dictator, sure, not a nice guy, sure, but he was holding it together. And at the end of the day, the reason they got rid of him was because he wanted to bring in gold instead of using the U.S. dollar. Blaming if a white man braids his hair and likes rap, he's appropriating culture. But if a white man acts too white, he's white trash, he's a racist, he's a bigot, he's a monster. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. This is something that Thomas hit on a lot in his videos, and I've tried to tell people about this as well. Um, there was a girl at work who's very much into identity politics and I was talking to her about it. And I think I got through to her. At the end of the day, if you have a whole group of people and they're all working together, they can topple governments. But if you're a person that's in power, you're a government control power, and you want people to, to, to be busy fighting themselves instead of fighting you, you put them all up into boxes. You make... 50 boxes, right? Straight, gay, trans, black, white, yellow, all these different boxes. And then you get all those groups to fight amongst themselves. Because while they're fighting amongst themselves, they're not fighting the powers that be. They're not fighting the government like they should. And this is why I keep trying to say to people. At the end of the day, I, I don't care if someone agrees with me politically. 
I don't care if someone likes me. I don't care if someone hates me. I don't care if you're Christian. I don't care if you're Muslim. I don't care if you're white, black, whatever it may be. Our, our problem, the person that we should be fighting, is not ourselves. It's the powers that be. It's the Rothschilds. It's the Bidens. You know, the people that are screwing the country over right now. And then for the US people, how is your oil prices? How much is your, is your gas prices right now? Don't you think we should be focusing on that rather than who's got the, the best, best virtual signal or who's the biggest transphobe? Don't you think there's bigger problems in the world? Like, for example, gas prices, current inflation, the US printing more money like it's going out of fashion. Don't you think these are bigger problems that we all should be focusing on rather than a trans athlete or someone getting cancelled because he he said a, a mascot's name and someone thought it was some other name. I was going to do a story about that but today, but then Tom decided to drop his video. So we'll do that tomorrow. They can't stop us Cause we're ready to fight Trying to brainwash us But we won't let freedom die The whole world's brainwashed Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets The whole world's brainwashed It's us against them, it ain't you against me How did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep? They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep Claim they want what's best for us, I find it hard to believe Cause they've been selling us cigarettes since we was 18 Fake news, fake woke, distract and divide You're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white Big tech don't need a microchip to hack in your life Cause the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device And I don't- Oof 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 Alright My phone here The Samson by design, de-googled, and I currently have Linux running on it. It's been on there for two years now. Probably two years, 18 months, two years, probably. Of course, count. I have not looked back. If you guys ever want to de-google your phone, I'd suggest you do it. There are... There are Lineage OS is a really good system. It's what I've got on my phone. I can still have the apps from the Google Store. Yes, it does cancel some of the high security features that you have. But at the end of the day, obviously, you can still put your apps on there if you need to. But here's the best part. It doesn't have the COVID track or trace program built into it. Because they remove it. Uh, every Samsung and iPhone, the new updates, came out with COVID track and trace built into the coding. Not lineage. They removed it. So, yeah, if you want to talk about tracking and, and everybody going on about security and privacy, I love how all these YouTubers go on about privacy and security and, and VPN, NordVPN, and all this sort of stuff. Okay, but you do realize that you're using an iPhone or a, or a Android, right? A any security you claim that you are protecting yourself from is literally null and void because of that phone. Both Android and iPhone are tracking everything you do. And by the way, my battery life is double what it should be. I get two or three days out of my phone. And that's just me being a heavy user on it. With the Samsung, I get like a day. Now... For the same usage. Now you tell me it's not constantly sending data back if at the end of the day the battery goes through faster. I don't know what I'm all sick of. Rappers or Joe Biden looking like he ate a hundred Xanax for dinner. Cause censoring the president and king. But Joe Biden does look like he's had a hundred Xanax for dinner. Kicking him off Twitter is a bigger Cause censoring the president and kicking yeah. him off Twitter. Joe That's Biden looking like. Let's try this again. Like he ate a hundred Xanax for dinner Cause censoring the president and kicking him off Twitter Is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign ballistic missiles You don't trust he, He's right with that Censoring people that you that you don't like Is a bigger problem than ballistic missiles Because at the end of the day You are, you are literally Good ideas or good topics Or good thoughts or good Good I'm trying to think of the word to say it. Your opinions, your good opinions, 
they will survive under tough scrutiny. If you sit there and you go, for example, about how you love a certain army or whatever it may be, right? And if it's a bad idea, if it's a bad opinion, it won't it won't last. It'll get chewed up literally in the public sphere. But if you have a good opinion, so if you think you, you say the interstellar space shuttle is great, for example, if it's a good opinion, it will survive that public opinion. Because it's a good opinion. That's what makes it a good opinion. So at the end of the day, yeah, um, censoring people off Twitter is a bad idea because, A, you're controlling the information. You're controlling what people hear and what people don't hear. People are not being told, obviously, what the president himself is trying to say. So you're literally censoring the most powerful, supposedly the most powerful man in the world. Yeah, yeah I, I agree with him. Censoring the president is a bigger problem than cruise missiles. Don't get me wrong, I think cruise missiles are a problem, but I think censoring the president is a bigger problem than that. Because now you have a tech company who is able to go through and is more powerful than the president. The police are the government, but you want people giving up their right to own a firearm. Why would you be comfortable if police and the government the only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun? You want people to give up their rights for firearms. Why would you be comfortable with the police and the army being the only ones to have guns? Is a very good point. If you don't trust your government, the left claims they don't trust their government as much as the right does, right? Why would you want the only people in the world to have firearms to be your government or your police or your, or your army or your, your forces? In Australia right now, we have the military deployed in Sydney to protect brackets, to, to make sure people don't break COVID restrictions. We literally have the military in Sydney enforcing a lockdown. I'm sure that's authoritarianism at some point. I think the difference between authoritarianism and what we have is that authoritarianism is when the, gut, when the military is in control. We still have the government in control, but the military is following the orders from the government. White privilege getting amplified to reinforce division. It convinces white people that they're favored by their skin and black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different. So the conflict is between us and never with the system. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb. Not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. What he's saying there about the, the whites and the blacks is true. Um, at the end of the day, the, you know, the, the, the black population is told that, you know, that, that they're special, you know, that, that at the end of the day that they're better, you know, they, they tell them that they've been, you know, they've been mistreated, they get them all riled up, right? And at the end of the day, as for the whites, they, they get told that, you know, they're a racist, they're, the, they're bigots, you know, all these sort of ists and phobes and all this sort of stuff. And at the end of the day, it causes division between the two groups. And then, like I say, it gets back to the whole principle of you get these two groups and put everybody in boxes and get the boxes to fight amongst themselves. And while they're fighting amongst themselves, they're not going to be fighting the powers that be. And it's a very good point. It's what he's been trying to tell people. And I think people are starting to wake up to it. They can stop us Cause we're ready to fight Trying to brainwash us But we won't let freedom die the whole world's brainwashed Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets The whole world's brainwashed It's us against them, it ain't you against me Step one, train the people only to consume Step two, infiltrate adults with the news Step three, indoctrinate the children through the schools And the music and the apps on the phones that they use Step four, separate the right from the left Step five, separate the white from the black Step six, separate the rich from the poor Use religion and equality to separate them more Step seven, fabricate a problem made a lie Step eight, put it on the news every night Step nine, when people start to fight and divide Take control, this is called situation design I think we're at step nine right about now actually to be honest um it's like for example if you want an example of this you look on the news in in Australia we'll have a 30 minute news program 25 minutes will go for about covid five minutes goes for about the weather oh, I 
Even I can't even watch the news without starting to feel depressed. I, God knows what everybody else is feeling. And I'm more woke than, than anybody out there. Well, most people out there anyway. So I know what the media is doing. And even it affects me. I'd say we're at step nine right now. They can't stop us. Cause we're ready to fight. Trying to brainwash us. But we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team. Start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. It's us against them. It ain't you against me. Very good. Alright guys, I love the music, I love the video, um, I think it's been very, very well done. Um, yeah, I have to sign in. Um, it'd be interesting to see if we can actually find out, let's find out what it's doing for, so 24,000 likes, 73,000 down, uh, 73 down votes. He doesn't know that's what he makes everyone's Friday better. <laughs> Uh, that's classic. Um, yeah, look at the end of the day, guys. Um, very well done. I, I, I don't know. Can we get him played at schools? Can we start showing this to kids? Um, at the end of the day, he, he's right there. Everything he's saying is right. It, it is brainwashing. Um, it, it's the apps. It's the social media. It's the news. It's it's everything that that we're being fed. You know, at the end of the day, you got Twitter, Facebook. You know, they're controlling the information. YouTube just recently came out and said that they're going to, um, and that the, the Biden administration wants YouTube to start removing things or start removing content that is problematic, I believe it was. Um, I didn't look into the whole story, but it was something along those lines. It's when I was sick it came out. At the end of the day, yeah, it's, you know, like, yeah, it's, it's bad. It's really bad. Um, we do have some ray of hope. Um, obviously, Rumble is getting a lot of attention at the moment. Um, Chelsea Gabbard, uh, Fox News covered it last night. Um, so that's obviously some good news. Um, I will be uploading my videos to Rumble soon hopefully. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, he, he's right. Uh, we are brainwashed. And as soon as people turn off the news and turn off Twitter and turn off Facebook and Snapchat and Instagram... The sooner, the better. Um, I don't have any of those programs on my phone. I think I have Snapchat, but that's more for, you know, pictures from the ladies. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, I, I don't do any of that social media shit. Um, I, I have someone that messaged me on Facebook. One of my mates messaged me on Facebook a couple of weeks ago. I still haven't checked it. So I, I think everybody should deplug from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know, Snapchat, maybe. Eh, the pictures from the ladies. They're not too bad. But okay, so let's know your thoughts are in that comment section below. Obviously, this video has been helpful. Please smack that like button if you're new to the channel. Welcome and subscribe. Tom, you've done it again, buddy. I love the video. I love the message. Let us know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Apart from that, guys, have a great night. Enjoy yourself. Have a great Friday. I'll put a link in the description below to the full video so you can go through and check it out.